about Berkshire's cash. He writes, where is that money held? All in Treasury bills or notes? If so, what will happen in June when the biggest buyer, the Fed, quits buying? Where is all that money on the sidelines? Is it under the mattress we saw two years ago? I don't see how any significant amount of money can be in banks that aren't paying interest, corporate bonds that are risky and not paying much interest, or government bonds that seem less and less sound as each day passes. Well, he's certainly right that all the choices are lousy for short-term money now. But we don't play around with short-term money. So uh, we did not own commercial paper in 2008 before problems occurred. We did not own money market funds. I, when I say we didn't own them, we make, there may be small amounts at various subsidiaries. But in terms of the big money, which we run out of Berkshire, <clears throat> we basically keep it in treasuries. And uh, uh, we get paid virtually nothing now for it. And uh, that's irritating. But the last thing in the world we would do <clears throat> at Berkshire is to try and get 5 or 10 or 20 or 30 basis points more by going into some other things with this, with, with our short-term money. It, it is a parking place. It's an unattractive parking place, but it's a parking place where we, we know we'll get our car back when we want it. And uh, uh, you know, when we need, certainly the case in, 19, in September of, 19, of 2008, we had committed for some time to put $6.5 billion in in uh, Wrigley when the Mars Wrigley deal occurred. And we certainly didn't contemplate at the time we made that commitment, which was probably in the summer, uh, that the events would take place like they did in September. And uh, But we had the money. I knew I had to show up with six and a half billion dollars. I think it was on October 6th. And, you know, I had to show up. And <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't show up with a money market fund or some commercial paper or anything of the sort, I had to show up with cash. And the only thing I feel, virtually the only thing I feel good about in terms of having large amounts of ready cash is treasury bills. And that's where we've got, if you look at our, our March 31st statement, I think you'll see 38 million. And overwhelmingly that will be in, in uh, treasuries. Charlie? Well, of course, I've watched a lot of people struggle who thought it was their duty in life to get an extra 10 basis points on the short-term money. I think it's really stupid to try and maximize returns on short-term money if you're in an opportunistic game the way we are, where we want to suddenly deploy money. Some of those pipelines we bought, they came for sale on Saturday and we had to close on Monday or something. Yeah. Yeah, we bought we don't one want to fool around with some dubious instrument when we had sudden needs for money like that. We bought one pipeline uh, where the seller uh, was worried about going bankrupt uh, the following week. And there's a hard Scott Rodino clearance required for the FTC, and they needed the money right away and we actually i wrote a letter as i remember to the ftc and i said that we will do whatever you tell us to do uh later on you can look at this all you want we'll give you all the data you want and if you tell us you know to uh, to unwind the deal whatever you tell us we will do but these guys need the money and uh, so we closed it earlier and uh, our ability to come up with cash when people need it and when the rest of the world is petrified for some reason uh, has enabled several deals to get done. And we don't know whether that, that could happen tomorrow. I mean, you know, if, if uh, you know, uh, Ben Bernanke runs off to South America with Paris Hilton or something, I mean, who knows? <laughs> Who knows what will happen, you know, and we want to be able at that moment to have our check clear. So uh, we, we figure we never know what tomorrow will bring, uh, although it won't bring that. I want to hey, leave that off the transcribed part of the report. The, but we are, 
When somebody comes to us and they say, we need a deal right now, we need a deal right now, we can do it. And they know we can do it. 